Hey guys, how's it going? Daniel here. So there are a ton of launchers out there in the Play Store, which you can go and download for free um, to change up your setup. If you're not a fan of the default ones that come with your phone that you purchased. So that's what of course I like about Android is that you can do so much customization to your setup and make it work for you. So this video, I'm going to be talking to you guys about my two favorite launchers on Android that you should probably go check out. So the first one is called Nova Launcher. So Nova Launcher is probably one of the best launchers on Android. You probably heard about it uh, because it, like I said, it's one of the best launchers they could get on Android. And if you want to do some really crazy customization, then Nova Launcher is probably the launcher for you. So customization Nova Launcher is just intense, it's crazy. There's just so much you could do uh, uh, when it comes to customization on, on uh, Nova Launcher that I can't get even like get through everything that, that you could do on Nova Launcher or this video will be like a one to two hour video. Um, but yeah, there's just so much from uh, adaptive icon support to uh, choosing where each icon could go on your setup, on your home screen when it comes down to customization of your search bar on your home screen if you want one, widgets, um, sizing, color. Um, there's just so much that you could do in Nova Launcher. And of course, it just uh, supports, of course, uh, the Google Now uh, page that you could swipe from left to right, which is one of my favorite things that I love uh, about Nova Launcher. So yeah, it's an awesome app. It's free to download. Um, the free version has a ton of features. Um, and almost every other update that it receives, um, there's something that they're moving from the premium uh, area to the free area of the app. So yeah, it's just an awesome app, and the uh, and the app is worth like I think two or three dollars. I think if I'm not mistaken, um, I'll post the real price of course on the video here. So yeah, Nova Launcher is just a fantastic, fantastic launcher if you want to go really crazy into customization uh, and just go as, as crazy as you want on Nova Launcher. So next, my second or my main favorite launcher that I love, love, love on Android is Action Launcher. So I've been a fan of Action Launcher for a very long time, ever since I've been on Android, um, which is maybe five, six years, seven years maybe now. I've been on Android. It was actually a fun fact. My The Samsung Note 2 was my first Android smartphone. So Action Launcher is, like I said, my favorite launcher. Um, so there are three big features, of course, that like Action Launcher is known for. And that is, of course, quick page, quick theme, and I forgot the other quick one. Oh, quick drawer. There we go. So quick drawer, I'm not a big fan of that one. It's not my type of setup to have a quick drawer from swiping from left to right to quickly access the apps in your phone that you have installed. I'm a big fan of quick theme because uh, whenever I change up my wallpaper setup, it just automatically matches uh, the design of the color and the design of that wallpaper to your setup. So the search, if, so if your wallpaper, for example, is green, then the search bar will be a nice light teal green. Uh, it will just match so that it works. Even when you launch your app drawer, uh, the, the, the app's background page will match the wallpaper as well. So everything will match perfectly from app shortcuts as well will match. So I'm a really big theme, uh, big fan of the theming in Action Launcher and how easy it is to um, just to have everything uh, unified and looking really, really cool um, in Action Launcher. And then of course, the other one is Quick Page. So Quick Page, of course, is just a fantastic area to have widgets. So if you're not a fan of having widgets in the main home screen or on any other page on your setup, the Quick Page is just a dedicated location just for widgets. So there you can add as many widgets as you want um, and just quickly access them when you're on the home screen um, and you just want to see something uh, that you want that you have there on your widget page. Now, I'm not a big user of Quick Page. I'm only a big user of Quick Theme just because of the setup and everything. But yeah, it's just an awesome feature that you can have if you just want an area just for widgets. And then of course, um, it does. Uh, the developer behind Action Launcher does support or uh, does keep up to date the launcher with a lot of features that you only find exclusively on the Google Pixel launchers. Um, so that's really cool. So like you'll get of course app shortcuts. Uh, you'll get the latest uh, features 
um, from what you like you can find on the Android Smart on the only Google, uh, Google Pixel phones on uh, Action Launcher, which is really cool. Um, and it's just a fantastic launcher that's really polished. And yeah, it's just a fantastic launcher. So those are the two of the main launchers that I go from time to from back and forth. So whenever I feel like customization or try something different and new and extreme, I go to Nova Launcher just because the customization is right there. And then if I want something slick, clean, um, and just don't want to do too much customization and all that stuff, and I really, and I want features that are already built into it, then I go to Action Launcher. There are a few customizations that you can do on Action Launcher as well to your own liking, of course. But I'm just a simple guy when it comes to Action Launcher, and I let the, I let the launcher take care of itself. But in Nova Launcher, of course, that's where I just release my creativity whenever I feel like doing some crazy customization on Android. So that's pretty much it for the top launchers on Android. Now, of course, there are a ton of launchers on Android. There's Launcher, which I'm a big fan of launchers, a simple, dead simple launcher, um, Apex Launcher, uh, if you're a fan of like, if you want to have Windows style, there's a launcher for Windows as well. There's a ton of great launchers out in the Play Store. Um, that there's probably one for you right there. Um, but yeah, those two are the ones that I currently use the most whenever I feel like just changing it up on the OnePlus Six. So that's pretty much it, guys. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And as always, I will see you guys later. Peace.